All right, folks. Uh, so this is actually a, a simple introductory video uh, on on the simulator, the circuit simulator that uh, is available to you for free. Uh, and I wanted to show you uh, the interface and then the tools that you have available to conduct the experiments. And this is uh, this doesn't have, and you'll see that this doesn't have an ohms meter. So anything uh, that we need to use an ohms meter, I will either provide the measurement or if it's not available, you can use the calculated value there. Okay. Uh, now before we begin, uh, so this is provided by University of Colorado Boulder. Uh, it's uh, the FET uh, simulation tool. It's an education. Uh, uh, open source education environment. Uh, there, there they have actually a series of simulators available to you uh, for physics, chemistry, uh, electrical engineering, mathematics, uh, almost all the sciences. Okay, there are so many interactive tools. So feel free to visit their website. Uh, you can you can go through the different types of simulators that are out there. Uh, and if you want to use the, this electrical circuit uh, DC virtual lab, uh, you can either download it uh, for offline use or you can go directly uh, into this simulator tool. Okay, so you can go directly into this tool uh, and then it, it opens up an interface like that. Very simple, very nice, and I will go through each of the uh, tools uh, that uh, that is avail uh, available to you okay so first of all you have a wire here which you can use uh, for connections for circuit connections uh, so you don't have a breadboard but you will have to set up the connections from one resistor to another and you can even turn this make it longer make it shorter uh, and then if you don't want to see the electron flow you can just uh, you switch to conventional, which will show, show the current flow, okay, which is very convenient. Uh, and then we have a battery here. You can uh, you can uh, have multiple cells, or if you want to change the voltage, if you if you click on it, you'll get a little slider bar here. Okay, so you can now change the voltage to to however much voltage you need. And this will act as your power source or power supply. Okay, uh, so special. This is for uh, low voltage. So if you go to anything above 120, there is a different battery that you have to use. Uh, but just for this lab, for EC235, we are not even going to exceed 30 volts. So uh, using this uh, orange and gold battery is is good enough. All right. Uh, and then we are not going to use the light bulb very soon. Uh, you're gonna, and if you do need a light bulb, you know you can use a light bulb. And the the other primary component is a resistor. Okay, so you can place it however way you want to place it. Uh, and you can now change the value here. See, you can change the value. Uh, and it it has it increments in 0.5 increments. You can see that here, right? It's incrementing in 0.5 increments. And this type of resistor, it goes from zero to 120 ohms. Okay. So then you might be wondering, wait. So how can we build uh, a circuit that has one kilo ohm or, or higher, or, or 121 ohms or higher? So if you need anything beyond that, if you go down in this bar, there is another resistor down there. Okay. So this resistor, if you click, uh, now you can set this value to be anything from 100 to, what is this, 10 kilo ohm. 10 kilo ohm. Okay. If you need more than 10 kilo ohm, then you will have to see these, uh, these resistors up to build a larger value okay so that's just one limitation but just keep this in mind uh, so you can you can set the values let's say I'm, I want to set this to uh, something that we use 200 let's say I'm gonna set that to 200 
then I'm going to set this resistor to 106. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, so we have two resistors like that. Uh, and then oh, when you go on this left hand column tool, you can see some weird elements here. We have a hand, a dog, a pencil. Uh, we're not going to use that. This is primarily for uh, high school students to test. Uh, but I think there was there's a fuse here. This is the high voltage battery. Uh, there is a switch. So I recommend you to use the switch because that way you can turn the circuit on and off and take your measurements. Uh, it's not required, but you know, just one recommendation I think will make your life a little easier. And then we want to, let's say we want to connect the battery uh, to the switch. Right, so we grab this, so we connect that one copper wire there, and then the other end of that same copper wire there. Now you see that there's a gray connection showing that uh, it, it established a connection there. Okay, so let me set the voltage here uh, to 6.5, that looks good. Uh, now, before we, I build the rest of the circuit, I want to show you a couple of more things here. Uh, you can turn on values. You can show the values of each of the resistor, right? So you can do that. And then here we have a voltmeter and an amp meter. Very convenient, right? So this will let us measure current. Very important concept is how you want to place your amp meter versus your uh, voltmeter to measure currents, all right? Let's say I want to measure the current going through this resistor. So then I'm going to place uh, my amp meter in series with that second resistor, not here or not here. Okay, so I'm going to place it there and I'll show you how I make those connections so that I have the amp meter in series with that resistor. Uh, now, the other components that I see here is there's wire resistance. Typically, you know, you're going to have some, some wire resistance in these copper wires. So if you want to have a little bit or, you know, a, a lot, you can change the slider bar to consider that wiring. So what I would recommend is just leave it like somewhere along there approximately so that it does introduce some realistic characteristics to the circuit. Uh, and then here you can set battery resistance or for the power supply resistance. Set that to zero for ECE 235. Okay, uh, for, for now, let's set that to zero. Now, here, this gives us a very convenient way to switch between circuit diagram and the physical diagram. All right, uh, what I want you guys to follow is when you are building your circuits here, follow this physical diagram view because that's the part we want to get you trained on how to build your circuits. Okay, so uh, uh, having said that, so let's try to build our circuits here. Uh, so I'm going to grab another piece of wire and then connect it to the amp meter there. And then I'm going to bring this here. Okay, so very, very convenient, very nice interface here. Just a little bit there this a little bit here and then that so let me move this so very interactive environment uh, and let me grab another piece of wire connect it connect my resistor here okay connect my resistor and then another piece of wire then I want to connect these two resistors like that. Then I want to connect these two. Okay, and then I want to connect these two resistors. So now I have a complete circuit. And then now I can even place my probes uh, of my voltmeter so that I can measure voltage. Right. So uh, since it's a parallel network, uh, I'm expecting to see 
all the voltage of the battery here. Uh, but if I had a resistor here or a resistance here, then uh, the voltage that I see here is going to be somewhat different. Okay. Uh, so with this network, uh, what we can do is just turn this on. And very nice. Right. So now you can see what that measurement across this resistor and then uh, what the current flow is through, uh, through that uh, uh, second resistor okay so uh, very convenient and if you want to disconnect you can open circuit you can close circuit again you can change voltages you can change resistance value you can even remove the uh, multimeter and place it or you can even get another amp meter and place an amp meter in this branch to measure the total okay so uh, this is a very interactive interface and it's even showing you that current flow uh, in an animated fashion uh, and the reason the voltage is a little bit lower compared to the output because we have introduced some wire resistance right so if you want to set that to zero then the voltage is going to be in as the same as the ideal case where there's no resistance Okay, but I recommend having somewhat wire resistance there to make it look like a realistic measurement. Okay, so this is the, I, I want to try this simulator out with you guys. So please let me know what you think. I will post this video on Canvas as well as under the YouTube link. You can make as, however complicated as much you want uh, in this interface. But you have uh, these resistors and these power sources and the light bulb. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to switch to the circuit diagram view, see so you click that, it converts your circuit to circuit diagram view just to debug to make sure you did the circuit construction right. Okay. But initially construct it in that physical uh, view so that, uh, so that you guys know what you are working with. Okay. All right, so with that said, I, I want to wrap this up. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And then uh, if it seems like a really good tool, we'll try to keep using it throughout the labs. Okay, thank you.